praise the Lord, portraying Jesus from Genesis to Revelation, hallelujah, at, 60, at 76 years old, will be 77 soon, oh, Jesus is my hero. In Genesis, Jesus is the ram at Abraham's altar. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's the high priest. In Numbers, he's the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he's the city of refuge. In Joshua, he's the scarlet thread out Rahab's window. In Judges, he's our judge. In Ruth, he's our kingsman redeemer. In 1st and 2nd Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he's our reigning king. In Ezra, he's our faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he's the rebuilder of everything that was broken. In Esther, he's Mordecai, faithfully sitting at the gate. In Job, he's our redeemer that liveth forever. In Psalms, he's our trusted prophet. In Psalms, he's our shepherd, and we shall not want. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he's our wisdom. In Songs of Solomon, he's a beautiful bridegroom. In Isaiah, he's the suffering servant. In Jeremiah and Lamentation, it is Jesus is the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he's the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, he's the fourth man in the midst of the fiery furnace. In Jose, he's our love that is forever faithful. In Joel, he baptizes with the Holy Spirit. In Amos, he's the burden bearer. In Obadiah, he's our savior. In, in Jonah, he's the foreign missionary that takes the gospel into all the world. In Micah, he's the, the messenger with beautiful feet. In Nahum, he's the avenger. In Habakkuk, he's the watchman that is ever praying for revival. In Zephaniah, he's the Lord mighty to save. In Haggai, he's the restorer of our lost heritage. In Zechariah, he's our fountain. In Malachi, he's the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. And in Matthew, he's the Christ, the son of the living God. In Mark, he's the miracle worker. In Luke, he's the son of man. In John, he's the door by which everyone must enter. In Acts, he's the shining light that appeared to Saul on the road to Damascus. In Romans, he's our justifier. In 1 Corinthians, he's our resurrection. And in 2 Corinthians, he's the sin bearer. In Galatians, he redeems us from the law. In Ephesians, he's our unsearchable riches. In Philippians, he supplies our every need. In Colossians, he's the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In 1 and 2 Thessalonians, he's our soon coming king. In 1 and 2 Timothy, he's the one mediator between God and man. In Titus, he's our blessed hope. In Philemon, he's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. In Hebrews, he's the blood of the everlasting covenant. In James, it is Jesus who heals the sick. In 1st and 2nd Peter, he's our chief shepherd. In 1st, 2nd and 3rd John, it is Jesus who has the tenderness of love. In Jude, he's coming back with 10,000s of saints. Hallelujah. And in Revelation, lift up your head, church, for your redemption draweth nigh. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. King of kings, Lord of lords, from Genesis to Revelation. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord.